Front business owners say they were not expecting nearly 30,000 visitors. They say the crowds were rowdy, and in some cases, employees say they found themselves in the middle of it all. Ten of your sides, Ann McNamara interviewed one woman who says she was attacked by a group of women and continues our team coverage now. The business owners did not expect the 30,000 people. They did not get the memo, and they found themselves held hostage almost in their own storefronts, and in some cases, they actually got hurt. I'm 65 years old. I have never been in a, any kind of a fight in my life. Oceanfront business owner Nancy Rodeo left work I mean, Saturday you know, night with a black eye. Afraid. She says they she was fight. assaulted by an unruly you know. group of girls who came into her upper deck restaurant. At closing time, she asked them to leave, and that's when she was surrounded. When I turned, the girl spit in my face, threw her drink at me, and when I turned, like, you know, at her, hit me upside the head. Rodeo turned away but didn't fight back. They were going to jump me and the other waitress put her hand up around me like this. They hit her and somebody yelled, we're, the police are on the way and they left. But the police didn't actually come for more than an hour. Rodeo could see the officers in the streets. They were overwhelmed and outnumbered. The amount of people and the fact that they were able to almost take over. Restaurants closed. T-shirt shops closed. The liquor store at 31st Street had three armed police officers, but they were forced to close. Rodeo says city officials downplayed the severity of the event. She's especially disappointed with the mayor, who called the violence a, quote, disruption. My question to him would be, did you come down in your jeans and your sweatshirt like me as a person? Did you bring your daughter and your new grandchild and put your grandchild in the stroller? And did you walk down the street at 9 o'clock at night? And now Rodeo worries families who plan to vacation here might change their minds for fear of leaving with a black eye or worse. And these businesses say they did not make money this weekend, even though there were so many people here. Many say the visitors did not patronize the businesses, and because those visitors were here, many of the regulars didn't come there either. One bar just behind me here says they estimate they lost $7,000 than they would in a typical weekend. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.